spent all last night eating an ungodly amount of tuna. It just sounded good, and I couldn't get my fill. Just can after can after can, uh-huh. old and water. Okay. It was too much tuna. Yeah. And the drive over this morning was eventful. Tumultuous? I mean, I had to stop every three miles. Really? Nick, Nick I had to stop every three miles. You know what I'm saying? Did you map it out before here? Yeah. Okay. I needed to. I was never okay. going to make it. Man. Well, anyway, welcome to Board Game Serial News. I'm your host, Mike. I'm your host, Nick. Let's get to the news. Board game distributor Asmodee purchased Board Game Arena recently, the news being met with a mix of reactions. Board Game Arena offers of digital versions of board games in an online browser, and having a larger company like Asmodee behind the scenes could make it possible to bring even more games to the platform. Some folks feel a little more hesitant about such a large company purchasing the site, especially given that this company is a game distributor and may want to focus on games from their company versus competitors. It's a fair worry, and I for one am just worried that they're going to follow in the footsteps of Fantasy Flight where everything costs extra money and we'll be having to buy dice for our digital games of Stone Age. In other news, several large Kickstarter campaigns launched this week, including Bloodstone, the City of Crowns expansion for Paladins of the West Kingdom, Zombicide, Undead or Alive, and Terraforming Mars, Ares Expedition. There's also the Juggernaut Korra Quest, which at the time of this recording has raised nearly $200,000, which is at least 50 pounds. So it's time to play a new game called Who's Got the Money? All right, Jeff, we're on to the final round now. And between all of these Kickstarter games, tell me, who's got the money? Um, all of them? That's right. They all have the money. You win. Gene, tell him what he's won. You've won your very own empty wallet! Sure, it holds your ID, an expired Jamba Juice punch card, and a rewards card for your regionally appropriate grocery store. Kroger? But one thing it for sure does not have is any more money in it, because congrats, you're broke! Well, well, at least I have all these great games to look forward to when they finally arrive. Oh, they're sure to be delayed, so don't worry, you have plenty of time to recuperate the money you spent on this month's Kickstarters. And that's all we have for this week. Be sure to store your games vertically. Horizontal game storage is for the weak willed. Good night. Plan B Games, who owns the Eggertspiel brand, has announced a new edition of Great Western Trail, the modern classic from 2016. We don't know how the inside of the box will be different, but the outside clearly has undergone some changes by artist Chris Williams. In addition to Great Western Trail 2nd Edition, two additional Great Western Trail titles which will change things from the original will arrive in the coming years, with the first being set in Argentina. Not much is known about how the games will change, but at least thematically they will be set in different places. The third title in the line will be Great Western Trail New Zealand, which will feature a rondelle and deck building and players wind through a map collecting a fellowship of cards. Nick? Go with me here. There will be buildings you can construct along the way, like, I don't know, Helm's Deep, Minas Tirith, Baradur, I don't think it's going to be set in... You'll be using cards to carry one precious piece of cargo to a very specific location. Would that location be Mount Doom? Yes, I made the game Lord of the Rings and it works perfectly. Honestly, it sounds pretty good to me. And finally, we have Content Creator Corner, and this week we have Danielle Standry of Games D-Max Plays. Danielle creates fantastic videos on TikTok as a way to make board games more approachable through humor, and let's face it, most of us could use a little bit of humor right now. Here's just a couple of highlights. No specific order, top 10, 20 seconds. Let's go! Co-op fantasy RPG. Co-op dice rolling RPG. Colorful dice puzzle. Engine building with dice. Engine building in space. Engine building in the ocean. Can't play purple, you can have teal. I don't know what you're alluding to, but they're just rocket ships. So we need to power the life support system. I definitely didn't say you needed to be on life support, no. Haven't left the house in a while? Let's go adventure with Parks. In this one to five player adventure game, you play as a hiker trekking down this beautiful trail. You make this journey four times representing the four seasons of the year. You make stops along your hike, collecting resources and taking pictures of the cool scenery. 
At the end of each trail, you can spend those resources to buy more gear or visit a park. I don't really know if triple A's would sustain a whole planet. All those greenhouses, I'm pretty sure you're turning Mars into a weed colony. We are not repopulating Mars with the scientists. I know he's in one of your houses. That's his job. Yeah, Earth is so not cool anymore now that you're an intergalactic. Danielle is awesome, and if you haven't seen her stuff, do check out Danielle's Instagram and TikTok at GamesDMaxPlays, and there will be links in the description below. And Danielle did one extra thing that no one else has been able to do. She got us to finally join TikTok. You can follow us there. There's not much there. We don't really know how it works. We, we kind of figured out how to follow people. I think. But that's about it. But we, nonetheless, some stuff will show up eventually. Yeah. But anyway, that's all we have for you this week. Be sure to put your favorite bits of board game news in the comments below. And until next time, that has been the news. According to us. It's like, do I TikTok? And, and, and I can Did you remake? TikTok your drive here this morning? I should have. It was marked as explicit. <laughs> I did it. It's me. I have no money. I did it. It's me. I'm very, I need to eat at some point between now and then. How am I going to do that? Anyone? Help me out. Eat more tuna. Okay. <laughs>